I've joined in order to serve this moment because the Apple platform allows me to do what I do in a whole new way, to take everything I've learned about connecting to people to the next level. Because they're in a billion pockets, y'all. A billion pockets. <laughs> Oprah Winfrey announcing she's on board with Apple, specifically the launch of Apple TV Plus, a brand new streaming service. Along with the streaming service, the company also announced a new gaming bundle and a new service called Apple News Plus. So, what does Apple TV Plus mean for consumers and the future of the company? Well, we've asked our entertainment reporter, Yelena Adzik, and our business reporter, Jeannie Lee, to sort all of this out. All right, so Yelena, let's start with the content creators for this new service. Who has signed on? Obviously, Oprah. Oh, this <laughs> the feel of this particular event. I don't know if you were getting this, Jeannie, but to me, it was there was almost this cult-like atmosphere because everybody was just so into it and cheering and clapping. It was just extremely um, grand, shall That's we say. That's what Apple does. Right. You know, and it just gets the big names out there and it makes these events. That's why they're called Apple it, events. Truly. And so to answer your question, Andrew, when we talk about the big names, you're talking about Jeannie, Steven Spielberg really front and center at this particular one. And uh, we saw names like Ron Howard, uh, lots of other creators, J.J. Abrams, for example. Uh, Jennifer Aniston was there as well um, but as part of another show that she's going to be launching, Octavia Spencer as well. But from a creator standpoint, it really was Steven Spielberg that kind of set it all off, talking about his reboot of a 1980s anthology series called Amazing Stories. And then in this montage, this black and white series that you see here that they shot, it just felt like they were talking about the power of stories. And what they're trying to do is up Netflix. They are trying to say that you can go to Netflix for your scrolling and what are we going to watch tonight, babe? Right. But if you want quality premium content, this is the place you come. At least that's the message that they were trying to send with these kinds of uh, people on board like mm -hmm. Ron Howard and Steven Spielberg. And original stories. In fact, one of the series uh, introduced was Our Story. Our America was the name of the series. I don't know if you caught that. And it's going to be uh, fronted by a famous comedian. That's uh, right, Camille Nanjani. Right, yeah. and he's going to tell stories of uh, the immigrants that make up the American social fabric. Mm -hmm. And so that sounded really, uh, you know, original. It was a new idea. I haven't heard of uh, any other um, producer making that kind of um, program. Right, right. And this was the, you know, really the pitch, is mm -hmm. that look at us. We're creating new programming. Uh, we're going to be the must-buy uh, uh, place yeah. in terms of television. We are going to be the content provider, and uh, yeah, do you uh, think, sign on. Do you think, uh, Jeannie, it's because, uh, as Oprah said, they're in a billion pockets, y'all? Or and, and is that part of the the pro not the problem, but that Apple sees? Well, we are in a billion pockets, but we need to add to what we're doing. Here. Right. Uh, all of that. And yeah. by the way, it's 1.4 billion pockets, y'all, because <laughs> that is how many devices, yeah. uh, you know, are out there that uh, run the Apple, uh, the, you know, Apple iPads, iPhones, and iMacs, yeah. etc. 1.4 billion, that's a lot of users. And so, yeah. you yeah. know, it becomes a case of, uh, you know, you've got to be part of this, uh, pr uh, everyone, if you want to be in acting, if you want to be in producing. And that, that was what today was, a little preview of what we can do together. And will you please all sign on because we don't want you to go to Netflix with your mm. ideas. That's right. And when, Andrew, I yeah. mean, did you see the people that we're talking about right. here signing on? It was just a who's who of a lot of the hottest names in Hollywood. Uh, you know, just So to, what about the shows themselves? Oh, come on, you go through that no, and the, the shows, shows themselves. themselves. Exactly, yeah. yeah. No, to talk about a few of them, I mentioned already Steven Spielberg's show. A big one that they were touting there with Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon. Talk about money. $1.1 million per episode that they're each going to be getting. And this is a show that's called The Morning Show, and it is all sort of the back-dealing machinations that happen at a typical kind of morning show. There you see Steve Carell on that stage with the two of them. And so that was a big one. Alfie Woodward, you get a chance to look at her. Uh, she's got a new show called C. And this one's really interesting. It also stars Jason Momoa, Aquaman yeah. himself. I was looking at him. Th yeah, that's <laughs> right. And then you have, as we were, you were mentioning it early, Jeannie, there you got to look at Nanjani. And I'd like to give you a little bit of a sound. Oh, and Big Bird, of course, Sesame Street. Mm -hmm. They've got a big uh, project in the works. Teaching kids how to code. 
how to code yes. while also being kind. It's a show called <laughs> Helpsters. But yeah, going back to Nanjani, uh, let me show you a clip right now. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody took their turn. It was essentially like this big launch where they had to, a chance to talk about their shows. But just like you, I was struck by his type of show because it wasn't something you conventionally see out there. All about the immigrant experience in America. And uh, he, this is how he puts it. Have a listen. We hope Little America will help viewers understand that there is no such thing as the other, there is only us. Which is why at this moment in history, we are excited that we get to tell these stories with Apple. Connecting humanity is in their DNA. He also made a point of saying that almost all of the people on board in front of the camera and behind the camera are either mm -hmm. immigrants themselves or first, a second generation immigrants. So it was interesting, there was that, that idea that we're not just telling original stories, we're telling yeah. original stories that you haven't heard before on the mainstream platform. So and Apple was telling an original story. It wasn't talking about devices. Usually these, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, these events are to launch the latest uh, gadget, right? Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. this today was all about what you can do with a gadget. So it wants to keep its 1.4 million users happy billion. and loyal. Billion. Billion. Uh, yes, uh, y'all. Um, <laughs> you know, the happy and and loyal, yeah. sticking with the Apple brand, uh, by giving them not just TV to watch, but an Apple card, that credit card that is supposed to be very private. So, you know, it's obviously tapped into this whole anxiety we have about having our data out there. Yeah. Also, Apple News Plus, which will be an app that will give users access to the top um, newspapers and magazines, which, by the way, are hurting. So, you know, this works at both mm -hmm. ways, mm -hmm. obviously. And Apple Arcade, I thought this created Apple a lot of buzz. Arcade. Very Massive. A lot of growth in the future. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, they touted this as, is. so Apple are gaming. Gaming, gaming. but Online. the way that they pitched it was that this is the first of its scale yeah. uh, subscription service for gaming. Fees. Every month, that's where that's where ten dollars. So what it's yeah. about? It's, yeah. it's kind of like your Netflix, but obviously for gaming. And so they are really they're so, putting their tentacles everywhere. Okay. Everything so, you're paying for now, a cable service, yeah. uh, streaming TV, your bank card, that's right. um, uh, games. Well, if you're going to pay that, you may as well pay it to Apple. Is what Apple's I guess, message is. Okay, so we only have a few seconds left. Yeah. The question here is: Is there a, 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 is there appetite for more in terms of the content, and is there concern Apple's a very dominant company that they are going to push out uh, some of the other providers. Well, yes, they, yes, they, they, yes yeah. but they do have some serious competition in terms mm -hmm. of Netflix and HBO, Disney saying they're launching a streaming service. So there, there is a lot of competition out there, mm -hmm. as deep as their pockets are. But that they're pretty deep. $240 billion is what uh, the cash is, cash on hand for Apple. Yeah. So we can not only buy these original series and buy the salaries of these big stars, but also um, partner up with others who mm -hmm. may feel like they're too small to go it alone, and all of a sudden, Apple's everywhere. Yeah, all it's right. coming in the fall. Okay. <laughs> Jeannie, Yelena, thank you both very much. See you soon, Andrew.